All right. So uh, once you pause or once you start playing the video back over again, you should have something that starts to look like this section up here, this red section, or whatever color you started with. It really doesn't matter, but for the demonstration of this video, I just wanted to start with red. And when you guys came back, I know probably a lot of people are saying, well, wait, where, why did he do the blue section over here? The only reason I did this was so that I could give you guys an example of what they would look like as you start blending them together using the bende dot pattern. Now, don't freak out. You are actually going to be using a purple marker for this. But what I wanted to show you was along the edges here of the color wheel what they would look like as they start blending into the purple dots. To do this, I think the best way is to go and grab an actual purple marker, all right, and fill this pie wedge in with purple dots, all right. Um, so what I got done here is uh, I started to add purple dots inside of my red blended dots and my blue blended dots. Uh, like I said, um, on another video, um, it, you really don't want to pull too much blue into here and you don't want to pull too much red into there because then you're going to lose what the purple color is in the, in the middle and since you're using a purple marker um, you just you don't want to make it look too dark and I'm noticing on the video right here that some of these dots when they layer over like the blue and the purple dots here and the red and the purple dots there they actually almost start to look like they're, they're connected lines so you kind of want to pay attention to how many dots you're putting on there and how much you're layering Okay, you're going to do this and continue the rest of this color wheel all the way around. What I would advise you to do um, is start off with your, your primary colors, your red, your blue, and your yellow, and then start with your secondary colors in between, purple, uh, orange, and green, and then layer some of those primaries inside the secondary, and then maybe layer some of those secondary colors into the primary. All right, good luck.